thinking outside the box. Kim Kardashian wears head-to-toe shipping tape catsuit as Balenciaga ambassador brushes off Kanye West divorce chaos during whistle-stop visit to Paris Fashion Week. She's only just landed in Paris, but Kim Kardashian looked like she was ready to be shipped straight back to Los Angeles on Sunday afternoon. The TV personality inevitably caught the eye as she attended the Balenciaga catwalk show in the French capital during her first appearance at the city's biannual Fashion Week. Opting for a distinctive skin-tight catsuit from the Spanish label, Kim, 41, drew attention to her famous curves while posing for photos before making her way inside. But the heavily branded yellow and black outfit conjured images of industrial shipping tape and gave her the unwanted appearance of a tightly bound parcel. Kim's head-to-toe look was accentuated with a matching handbag, while heavily tinted sunglasses completed the outlandish ensemble. Luxury fashion house Balenciaga invited guests to their latest fashion show by sending them personalized broken iPhones. Rather than the traditional paper invites, the French label opted to send out personalized mobiles engraved with the date and time of its fall, winter 2022 show at Paris Fashion Week. Described as a genuine artifact from the year 2022, the phone, and the damage caused to it, is real but is not functioning and should be used for display purposes only. The invitation read, Please find personalized information on the back of this phone. This is a genuine artifact from the year 2022. It is non-functional and to be used for display purposes only. This document certifies that this device is, to the best of our knowledge, not artificially manufactured but made from years of use and later, neglect. Kim who was announced as ambassador for the looks brand last month, was shielded by a navy umbrella as she arrived for the runway show earlier that day looking classically chic in a white coat and black shades. The now legally single star, who is reportedly furious over ex Kanye West's Easy Music video, which shows the rapper seemingly burying her Bo Pete Davidson alive, slicked back her raven dresses for the luxury fashion show. On Tuesday, Kanye, 44, shared the bizarre new music video, where a clay animated version of Kanye kidnapped a claymation Pete and threw a bag over his head before tying him up and throwing him on the back of an all-terrain vehicle. The cartoon Kanye then buried Pete alive, keeping his head above the dirt and growing roses on it. The Gold Digger hitmaker ended the clip with a direct message to the Saturday Night Live star, Everyone lived happily ever after, except Skeet before crossing out the name and writing you know who. Kanye continually refers to Pete as Skeet as a disparaging nickname, though the meaning of moniker remains unclear. A source told People on Friday, she's really upset with Kanye that he do this. She's completely over all of this and she wants it to stop. People's source also claimed that Kim cannot grasp how her estranged husband can create violent content for all to see but make a fuss about their daughter North, 8, having a TikTok account. He previously voiced that North was on the app against, his, will. Kim, doesn't understand how Kanye can get upset about North being on TikTok yet he can put out these kinds of videos. It makes no sense to her, the source explained. Regardless of the drama, the insider stressed that the Skims founder's number one concern right now is making sure that her children are protected from the situation because everything plays out in the public eye and that's very difficult when there are children involved. She is very angry about the violence and she just feels that it's inappropriate and wrong. She shares North, as well as Chicago, 4, Saint, 6, and Psalm, 2, with Kanye. Kim subtly supported her Bo Peep soon after the release of West's disturbing music video by liking a post made by filmmaker James Gunn. The 55-year-old The Suicide Squad director, who directed Pete in the DC film released in 2021, seemingly injected himself into the fray with a tweet calling the SNL star one of the nicest, sweetest guy. Kim proceeded to click like on the complimentary social media post which added that the Staten Island native was a respectful and truly generous, tender and funny spirit. The keeping up with the Kardashian star began dating Pete after she hosted SNL on October 9. Just one day after Kanye released Easy, Kim was declared legally single by a judge, a move vehemently opposed by the rapper, on Wednesday.
Judge Steve Cochran also granted her request to have her maiden name restored, and he denied West's motion to prevent Kim from transferring assets out of trusts set up during the marriage. The feuding couple, both billionaires, had their high-powered attorneys in court Wednesday, Laura Wasser for Kim and Samantha Spector for Kanye. Spector was only appointed Tuesday night after West fired his previous lawyer which was his fourth. Kim has since removed West from all of her social media handles, including her Instagram account that boasts nearly 290 million followers.